examples of people who were under attack and what they did. They, they went straight away to God, to, to look for God, to cry to God, to, to make the good relationship to God, to go to, the, the, to, to have that intimacy of God. When you are under attack, it is when you can go, you can go for a deliverance, you can go God for, to deliver you, is when you can seek God before any other, any, any other time. You don't have to worry. You don't have to, to I, I have said all the time, when you are under attack, when you have been attacked by demon, by anybody, even human being at the workplace, uh, your husband, your children, wherever, when you are under attack, you can be attacked by anything. So th that's why you need the deliverance. Deliverance prayer when you are under attack. So you can be attacked by anybody, by anything, whether spirit. Or physical. Now, David cried out to God with a passionate desire. God, uh, uh, David cried to God with a passionate, uh, with a passionate cry. Uh, sister, sister, sister Agnes, do you have your Bible nearby you? Hello, sister Agnes. Okay, open your pipe and read it for us. Uh, the book of Psalms 63, verse 1. The book of what? Psalms 63, verse Psalms. 1. Yes. Okay. Psalms 63, verse 1. Verse 1? Yes. Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. Amen. You know, David, David prayed. David cried out to God with a passionate uh, desire. Because when you see th such a prayer, it's a prayer when you are under attack, when you are uh, stressed, when something is not right. He, you can see how he started. His, that is how you cried to God. You cry to God, you say, oh God, my father, you are a God. I will seek you. I will look for you and give me wisdom and knowledge. I do not know what to do, but I know you will deliver me. That is how you go when you are under attack. When you are under attack, you don't have to go to start feeling pit about yourself, to that started cursing yourself, started calling your name yourself, started calling people and curse them and fight people. You know this is an attack. This is not normal. Yeah, like for example, your children, your daughter, your son can turn against you. They will start fighting you. Even anybody at the workplace, like the sister who said that she has been attacked at the workplace, so she wants us to pray for those people to be scattered. People can do that. They can attack you for no reason. You have not done them anything. But they choose to attack you, to disgrace you, to call your name. When you come to the office, they will call themselves and they start mocking you. That is an attack. Now, when you do the best thing, you don't have to, to, to be angry. Don't fight them. Just call upon God. Say, God, I need your protection. I need your help. I need your divine help. You, you, you go to, you, you have the desire, you, you, you go to the desire, you, you make sure that you, you, because you have the relationship of God, you go there and say, my God, my Father, I need you to deliver me from this situation. You know, when you, when you do like that, of course God will hear you. When David was praying like that, he was going through some difficult time. David was a man of war and he was fighting, but he never lose, lose any, any battle. All the time he was winning. David was busy. He was a king, a husband, and a, and a, and a choir master, and a, a prayer a worshiper. He was everything. But he was, he was organized himself. Sometimes he could be attacked. He could be attacked until he doesn't know what to do, but all the time he was focusing to God and he was asking God to help. That's why you see men of his, 
his, his, his prayer, he was saying, deliver me, God, deliver me. Yeah? Now, you can see that, uh, as he was saying, as he prayed, he make, he make, he said, like, like David, he said, my whole heart, you see, he said that, oh God, thou art my God, early would I seek thee, my flesh longeth for thee in the dry and dust land, where no water is. Now, if you see Agnes, open for, uh, read for us Psalms 63, verse 8 again. Verse 8? Okay. Yes. My soul follows close behind you. Yes. Close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. Amen. Now, as you, you know, it said, my whole being follows hard after you and cling closely to you. So th this is how David was organized his prayers. He was praying that God would be close to him. God would be close to him because he doesn't know what to do. He, here his enemy has been attacking him. Here is things which was not right for him. So he wanted God to go closer to him in the name of Jesus. He, he, wanted, he, wanted, he wanted God to hear him. He wanted to go to close to, to God. He had passionate to God. He has intimacy to God. He went to God with his holy pin. He said, my God, you are the only one who can help me. I have no, I, I don't have even wisdom, but I need your wisdom. I need your knowledge. I need your ways. I need you to teach me, to show me what to do. I need to move to you, Lord. David was, even you can know, you, you know how David was singing to God. He was singing, he had, he had so many songs that he, he was singing to God. So he, he was, he, was he, 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 he surrendered himself with his whole heart. And he said that it is only you, from nobody to where I am, it is you, God. No matter what it is. I will still come to you. I will still move to you. I will still serve you. I, I, he was crying. When he looked at his life, where God got him, and from a boy, a shepherd boy, to the king, it, it is, it's not something that David could take granted. He was tempted like any other person, like you and me. He was going through temptation and everything. He was, he was entering into sins. He was repenting like anybody. So that's how the life is. So now when you are being attempted, when you are going through a difficulty, when you are attacked, that's not the time you, you will give up. That's not the time you are going to be discouraged. You say, now I've done this. I, I, I am tired. Enough is enough. I don't want this child. I don't want these people. Now you try everything. You said, I have given up. I don't want this. Now you surrender to the devil. That's not the way you, you, you do things. You, we have seen example of David, what he was going through, but all in all, he would come and start singing to God, he would come to clo move close to God, and the God was answering him all the time. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. You can see even Paul. Yes. As, as you, you see, Paul, Paul was also the, another one, as yesterday we were studying about Paul. Hallelujah, thank you, Father. Paul cry out, the, the poor cry out that I may know him, be consumed with a desire and longing after Christ with your entire body, spirit, soul, body, pursue him, shut out all the disaction. You know, Paul also said, so, so Paul also cried and said, so that I can also know him, so that I can know the power of his resurrection. Paul was Paul, who had wrote so many letters, Paul, who was moving with the, with the even handicapped, Paul is the one who said, I want to know him. I want to know his resurrection. I want to know this Jesus. You see, Paul was also having the, the same compassionate to Jesus. He wanted to know him. He wanted to know the, our God. So sometimes when you are under attack, you know, Paul was attacked, was beaten, was thrown in prison. Was it was there was so much what which was done to him, but he never he never 
or give up. He never dis he was never be discouraged. When there was an attack, it is when he can go and sing to God and pray fire and prayer. Now, like what he did. We know the Bible says that they were locked in prison. What happened there after being beaten, after being uh, uh, beaten and beaten and beaten and, and, and they were thrown in prison, being chained. What happened? That was a, a big attack. They were attacked while they were doing the ministry. When Paul was speaking to this woman, the, wiz the wizard, the woman who was us, who was, was telling people and witching people. Now Paul looked at the woman, the, he rebuked that demon, the woman was set free. And then the people cried and said, no, Paul must be, Paul must die. Paul must be put to prison. And Paul, and they beat Paul and, and Silas and locked them in prison. So that was an attack during the ministry. Paul was doing the ministry when they were attacked, but they didn't give up. Well, in the prison, in the jail where they put them, it's when they composed songs and they prayed. And the Bible says the earthquake of God strike that building. The foundation was shaken and, they, and they, everybody was loose. Now, the, 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 soldier, the, 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 the soldiers who were guiding the jail, when they wake up, they found the prison is open, the windows is open, the door is open everywhere. People lose their chains. The person almost, they, they, they nearly killed themselves. Paul shouted to them, said, don't kill yourself. Everyone is here. Because nobody has escaped. We wanted to show, to show you that there is power in God. The, God is alive. God is alive. So now, when you are being attacked like that, that is not the time you give up. When you are under heavy attack, that's not the time you will give up. It is the time you will call for the deliverance. It is the time you will call God to rescue you. It is the time you need the, the, the love of God. It's the time you need the love of Jesus. And Jesus will come. That time he will come. In the midst of troubles, in the midst of that problem, in the midst of when you are faced, where you don't know how to turn up where to turn back or forward where you have nowhere where you look at you you can't see anything that is the time you call deliverance that is the time you call god and he will come he will show up god wants like that that's the time you need intimacy of god if 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 paul of all the people paul whom the Bible says even is indicative, is put the people who are touching and healing, and and healing were taking place in the book of uh, uh, Acts. And it's the same Paul who wrote the, in the book of in the in the in the book of uh, in, the, in the book of Thessalonians, in the book of uh, Galatians, that I may know his resurrection. After he has done all miracles has happened to him, but still Paul wanted to know the power of resurrection. But Paul wanted to know the intimacy of Christ Jesus that he, he, he has, the fellowship of Jesus Christ. So it is the same thing that when we, we want anything from God, let us build that good relationship and know him better when we are under attack. It's when we, we know that this attack has come, but God will deliver me. It is a, it's when you can know how to call upon the name of Jesus. It's when you know how to pray the prayer that will deliver you from this attack. After example I've given to you, when Paul and Cyrus were attacked, they, they, they didn't do anything. They had to pray. They had to, I don't think even they prayed. They only started praising God. They said, God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. They started praising him and singing. Yes, you can be attacked like one of my sister. She had been not been sleeping for a while. She has been having troubles when she goes to, to bed. She can be attacked seriously. Seriously, she can't even sleep. But after the prayer, and I instruct her what to do, the sister was able to sleep. She can sleep. She can rest. Her body can now rest after so many years, so many days. She can arrest, but she needs a lot of deliverance to, for everything to go. That's how God works. You don't have to be discouraged and give up. You continue praying and trusting for the best. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. I want to pray for you now. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for joining Babcon. <laughs> God bless you. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Patrick, I love you so much. Thank you for joining. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Frederick, not Patrick, Frederick. Um, yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to pray for you because I said I'm not going to stay long and uh, we will continue tomorrow. So I'm going to pray against everything bringing destruction against you. I'm going to destroy them. I'm, I pray that God will destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that I bring destruction against spiritual blindness, against any power that, that is uh, bringing destruction into your life. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray every altar that is strengthening wickedness in your life, I cast them out in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind them. I destroy them. I crush them. I cast them to get out of your life in Jesus' name. I pull down the power pest of the wicked of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, welcome, welcome, first timers. Thank you for joining. Welcome. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I frustrate every sorcerer's powers targeted against your prayers, targeted against you. An attack from sorcerers, an attack from witchcraft, an attack from demon attacking you. I command the fire of God to burn them to ashes. I destroy them. I cast them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pluck out their, their, their monitor eyes from, I pluck out every satanic monitor uh, eyes monitoring you, looking for you. I want to attack you anyway. I am bringing the, the fire of God to, to black their, 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 their eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Father. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I give all the glory, God. I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to lift your name up, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, my Father, I speak by fire, by thunder, and by lightning. The mouth of the wicked shall not speak against you in the mighty name of Jesus. I am speaking by thunder, by fire, by lightning. The mouth of the wicked will not speak against you. The mouth of the wicked will not be able to curse you. The mouth of the wicked will not be able to, to locate you and put any spells and charms against you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I want to thank you. I pray every arrow from within. I command them to be pales and be, uh, be cut fire in Jesus' name. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I, I, I pray for you. I am praying flying wickedness. Hear the word of God. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Any flying wickedness against your life against you. Let them fall down and die. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pray any wicked flying, flying wickedness. There are some powers that flying. They are sent from another place. They fly all the way from Africa, wherever they fly from. They come and put charms on you. They come and attack you. All those attacks, I, I command them, like you know, the witchcraft, there is powers that protect themselves. They fly and to come and attack you. So I pray that let their wings to be broken into pieces. When they are flying, wherever they are using, let those wings to break into pieces and, they, and, and, and they be destroyed in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. I want to thank God and, and I give God glory and the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I command traveling roots of the flying witchcraft, receive the air of God, receive the air of God and the confused in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them receive the air of God and be confused. When they get the air of God and confused in Jesus' name, I pray fire and angels from, from heaven arise in boiling anger and scatter flying wickedness in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I lift your name up. My Father and my God, I want to cover this prayer. I seal this prayer with the precious blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank Amen. you for all much. We, we will stop here. Tomorrow we don't have periscope. Tomorrow we will be having our prayer meeting, our deliverance prayer. And uh, we will not have any prayer tomorrow. But if I will come midnight, I don't know. But we will not have really tomorrow prayers. Maybe, uh, no, we don't have any prayer tomorrow. We will have Saturday. 
and Sunday it is appreciation uh, day. Sunday morning I will be having a service, and then evening we'll be going to celebrate. So uh, if you still need to contribute, you are welcome to contribute any amount. Any amount. Uh, go to our website www.overcomersdhministry.brocksport.ca and donate an amount towards the, the uh, Thanksgiving, pastor's Thanksgiving. We can do that, and you can use MoneyGram, Western Union, any method you want to donate, we would appreciate you. Thank you very much once again. Those who have been donating, some people have really done tremendous. God will bless you so much. Watch yourself and see what God is going to do to you. I have seen people who have sacrificed themselves. They, are, they don't have, but they have decided to, to give. So God bless you so much. That's when you're here. On Saturday, I'm going to teach about uh, the, how God will meet your needs according to his riches and glory. It's when you're here, why Paul was saying that. So I, I, if, if still you want to donate, go ahead and, and give it so that we, I can bless you on Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to pray for you. God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Once again, uh, this is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi, saying bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. Bye-bye. God bye -bye. bless you. I love you so much, and there's nothing bye -bye. I can do about it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, 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 bye. I love you so much and there's nothing I can do about it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 <laughs> yeah. There's nothing I can do about it. I love you. So I'll see you on uh, Saturday, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m., uh, 8 a.m. Then we have uh, 8, 9 p.m., on Saturday. Thank you. Bye.